Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be doing a quick little get ready with me style video. I'm working with third or fourth day hair and I just wanna throw together a really simple and easy makeup look before I head out the door for the day. So I figured why not do a video? So first I'm gonna start by putting some products in my hair and then at the end of the video, I'm going to touch it up. So the products I'm gonna be using today are from Aussie Hair Care. So these are brand new. They're gonna be launching very soon and they will be available on Amazon. I've been testing them out the past few weeks and I am in love. So I haven't used Aussie products in so long, but I grew up on Aussie. Like my mom always used the hairspray in high school. I was obsessed with the sprunch spray and all their products smell amazing. So two of the products I have are styling products and then one is for in the shower. So the in the shower one is called On The Mend and this is the three minute miracle reconstructor. So you use this in the shower and you leave it in your hair for three minutes after you shampoo and it helps to really hydrate your hair, get rid of any split ends and really moisten moisturizes your hair and makes it feel so silky soft and the smell of this is amazing so this you use in the shower and then the other two products are styling products and I've been loving these for extending the time in between my wash days so we have the luster shine enhancing hair perfume and also the after hours texture dry shampoo so first I'm gonna go in with the dry shampoo because like I said I haven't washed my hair in several days but honestly this is really good on clean hair too it just gives you really nice body and volume and texture especially if you have fine hair like me that kind of just falls limp and flat um, but anyways this does a really good job at cleansing it gets rid of that dirty oily sweaty look especially during the summertime like if you're outside I instantly like start sweating in my hairline this takes care of that so what you want to do is just kind of like section your hair hold it about six inches away so you just want to spray this in your roots and the smell is divine. It just brings me back instantly to high school. And as you can see, it's adding really nice body and texture. And if you can see, it's not leaving any white residue, which for me is huge because I do have brunette hair and I hate when dry shampoos make my hair look like a powdered donut. So this does not do that. So my hair already smells amazing due to the dry shampoo, but I'm also gonna go in with the Luster Shine Enhancing Spray. This is really interesting because it has like a little tiny bit of shimmer in there. So let me see if you guys can see. So I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but it has a little bit of shimmer in there, like nothing crazy. It just is really flattering, especially when the light hits your hair. It just makes it look so shiny and healthy. And if you have like any kind of like dry ends, like this helps, so. This is good just to freshen up your hair, make it smell better, make it look nice and shiny again. So then after I apply it, just kind of like work it into my hair and it's very weightless. So once it dries down, you don't feel like you have product in your hair. It doesn't weigh your hair down. So I really like that. And I like to use it like after I worked out or before I run out the door, just so my hair smells nice and fresh and clean, even though it is not. So that's all I'm gonna do to my hair for right now. I'm just gonna kind of let the product soak in, do its thing while I'm doing my makeup. And then at the end, I might just take a curling iron and touch up a few pieces. So now let's get into the face. So I already have all of my skincare done. If you haven't seen my morning skincare video, definitely check that out. But now I'm gonna be applying sunscreen and I'm not wearing foundation today. I'm just gonna be using this sunscreen and this is not a tinted sunscreen. So this goes on clear and I'll show you guys in a second, but this is from First Aid Beauty. This is their weightless mineral sunscreen. I've mentioned this before, I really like it. So I'm just going to apply this to my face and it kind of acts as a makeup primer as well. So here's what it looks like. It's kind of like this tan color, but it doesn't provide any coverage. It just kind of goes on clear as you guys will see. Then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of concealer right underneath my eyes. And today I'm using this Givenchy Couture Everwear Concealer. I think it's like waterproof or sweatproof, something like that. And I am using this one just because the color matches me really well. Obviously I'm pretty tan right now, so a lot of my concealers are too bright. And when I'm going for like a very natural makeup look, especially when I'm wearing minimal makeup, I don't want a really bright under eye. So this one is a really nice color and it's in the shade 22. So I'm just gonna apply like three dots and that's all I really need. Then I'm just gonna take my sponge and lightly 
blend that out. I wouldn't say this is a completely full coverage concealer. I would say it's medium, but I really like the finish of it. It looks very natural and skin-like, and that's what I like for every day. Like, I don't want it to look like I have concealer on, really. And whatever's left on the sponge, I'm kind of just applying it wherever. So, kind of like my T-zone area. So next I'm gonna go in with bronzer and I'm using the Ilia Novelty Bronzer. I love this one and this is a key step for me just because obviously my body is way darker than my face. So I always, always, always wear bronzer. So I'm just gonna go in and bronze like the perimeter of my face. And now is the time that I regret cutting my bangs because they just do not stay pinned back. So whatever. And this I kind of just do in that three shape, so forehead, cheek, and then jawline. Then I'm going to go in with my Chanel loose powder in shade number 30. And I'm actually going to use this to set my eyes and the rest of my face. So it's very rare that I don't use my Ilia powder underneath my eyes, but this one doesn't give me an issue. So I just go like this and set my T-zone very lightly, set my eyes. And then on the other side of my brush and whatever's left in the cap, I just kind of go like this and buff it over my face. And that step just kind of helps everything mesh together, like the concealer, the bronzer, just kind of all melts into one. Then I'm gonna go in with blush, which is my favorite step, and I'm gonna be using this one from Burt's Bees. It's called Toasted Cinnamon. I just did a whole blush video if you guys haven't seen it. This just gives a really nice kind of natural sun-kissed peachy vibe. And since I'm always extra with my blush, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Wild Berry from Alme, and I'm just gonna put this on my nose bridge and on the very like inside cheek area. So just like right there. And then whatever's left on the brush, I'm just gonna dust over my eyelids. I'm not gonna be doing any eyeshadow today, but I am gonna apply a little bit of highlighter to my inner corners, and I'm using Fenty's Mean Money Hustle Baby Duo. This is one of my favorites, and I especially love this shade for the inner eye. It just really makes it pop and makes you look awake. So I'm just gonna apply that. And then I'm also gonna apply a little bit of that on my nose. And I'm not gonna contour my nose, I'm just doing a little bit of highlights, just so it gives it a little bit of dimension. So now let's do a little mascara. I'm gonna curl my lashes as I always do with my Surratt eyelash curler. And I'm actually getting a lash lift very soon, which I'm so pumped about because it's been forever. The Surratt lash curler is amazing, but it's not the equivalent of a lash lift. So I'm gonna go in with this new mascara. Well, it's new to me. It's from Maybelline. It's the Snap Scara, which I thought the wand looked like something I would be interested in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this. While my lashes are drying, I'm gonna go in with brow gel. This is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. So I'm just going to be putting this through my brows first, and then I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Brow Blade, but I'm just gonna use the pen side. So it's gonna look really just natural and take way less time because I'm not like blending the pencil side or anything. So this just holds everything into place and then I can see exactly where I need to fill in any gaps. So I just took my clip out really quick before it starts to leave a dent. Now I'm gonna do my lips really quick. So I always use, like every single day, my Marc Jacobs Nudist Lip Liner. And then my go-to lip shade has been this one from Fenty. It is their shiny something. What are these called? Shiny lip shine? Sheer shiny lipstick. And this is in the shade Glazed, which is a really nice kind of just peachy nude. 
And this is just kind of like the perfect nude shade for me. It has a nice like sheen and shine to it without being a lip gloss because during the summertime, I the last thing I need is for my lips to feel sticky on top of my whole entire body feeling sticky. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's basically it. Then for setting spray, you need the setting spray in your life. It is not new, but it's new to me. It's the Smashbox Photo Finish Setting Spray. If you want something that is gonna make your makeup transfer proof, especially when you're wearing a mask this is the best one that I have found recently and I'll be honest I hate the sprayer on this so I always just spray it up into the air first and when I first got this for some reason I was expecting it to be a very matte finish but it actually gives your skin a really nice pretty glow so I'm gonna let that dry down I'm gonna go grab my curling iron really quick and I'm just gonna touch up a few pieces on my hair and that'll be it so basically all I do is just grab a small section and wrap it around the barrel even though this is one with a clamp I don't use the clamp I just take some random sections and wrap it around so it just adds a little bit more curl and texture to it and I don't like it to be too perfect I kind of prefer it to be messy so I just kind of grab random ones and I always do it away from the face and then for my bangs I kind of just grab them and pull them directly in front of my face and curl that way that way it falls how I want it to and I just kind of leave it alone and same thing on this side random sections always curling away from my face So yeah, that is basically it. If I feel like I need more texture or anything, I will go back in with the after hour spray, but I feel like I'm good. I also feel like it doesn't look like I haven't washed my hair in four days or five days or however many it's been. Um, nobody has to know. It can be our little secret here on my channel, which is not a secret anymore. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Very simple, quick makeup and how I touch up my hair in between wash days. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.